I think the one question that most people come up to me with, especially when they find out that I've been fasting for this long, you know, like almost seven months, I've lost almost 70 pounds. The question is, how do I, how do I, how do we get over that hump? How do I get past so-and-so hours? And really the answer that I usually tell people is you just do it. And, and I know that sounds I know that it might sound condescending, but it really isn't meant to be. The, the The real fact is I'm not, I don't have special powers, right? I, I don't take a magic pill. There's no secret sauce. You, you just do it. The, again, the way it works for me is I, I, I turn a switch on and off that tells me, hey, you're eating right now or no, you're not eating until such, such and such day. That's That's typically how it goes through my head. And a lot of it, a lot of it is mind games. Sometimes your mind will will trick you into telling yourself, "No, I did it. It's time to eat. It's time to eat. It's time to eat." When when it isn't, this this isn't easy. You know, it it might get easier over time. I mean, obviously, it it's gotten easier over time for me because the routine is there. But I think a lot of people what they don't understand is when you first start fasting, you're you're not accustomed to that routine. You have been trained for years and years, or if not for decades, to eat multiple times a day, every single day. So to go from that to eating once a day, eating once every two days. I mean, me right now for this entire month, I'm eating once every three and a half days, almost four, almost four days, eating once almost every four days. Your body has to get used to that. Most people who, are, who have been eating multiple times a day, Every single day, they're they're used to their body using uh, the energy that that you just consumed uh, to get through that day, as opposed to someone like me who has learned to be you know, and they call it being quote fat adapted, right? The body is used to using your fat for energy, and I still have a good amount of fat to go, uh, or I still have a good amount of fat on me that I can use for energy, so I know I can keep going. And until I get to that point where I can't pick that fat off me, then 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 it's all about maintenance. But I'm not even close to that yet. And and again, this is why I'm doing what I'm doing on this channel because I want to share this journey with people. I want to help people understand that. They can do this too, and they might not have to do 65s, right? They might not have to do 65-hour fast like me or 90-hour fast like me. But even if it's to the point of just getting through a 16-hour fast, let, let me break it down to you this way. Doing doing a 16-hour fast, half of that is already achieved if you're sleeping properly. If you're getting eight hours of sleep, you've already done 50% of your fast. Just add another eight hours to it, and then you got that 16. You do that day after day after day, you'll build that routine. Your body will start to get accustomed to it. And then you can push that 16 hours to 18 hours, that 18 hours to 20 hours. And and again, it is not going to be easy at first. When I first started doing this, I I would get headaches, right? I was, I was going through carb withdrawal. I did an 11 day fast before and I had caffeine withdrawal too. And for the most for 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 the most part I was sleeping. I was sleeping a lot. I was trying to sleep away the hunger. And sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't and a lot of times keeping busy is what keeps me going. I I I sit in my computer. I do video editing. I'll do my photography work and sometimes I get so busy I don't think about food. And you know, if if you can learn to give yourself that schedule even to just sleep early, to sleep properly so you get a full eight hours of sleep, it'll help. I'm guessing it'll help get over that hump. And then consistency again is key because the beauty about fasting is you control the rules. You tell yourself how many hours you want to um, fast for. I mean, for me, my rules are, Jerome, fast for 90 hours and then you can eat for eight hours afterwards and eat whatever you want as much as you want. And I do that. Those are, those are my rules, but they don't have to be yours. You can, you can be flexible with that. I mean, there, there's so many, there's so many ways 
to go about fasting. And, and again, I think that's the beauty of it because there's no restrictions on food unless you want to give yourself those restrictions. I mean, by restrictions, I mean eat low carb or eat super clean. And none of those things are bad. I'm just so for people who are vegetarian, then they can still follow those rules because there's no fancy, ah, I can't eat this, I can't eat that. They can still be vegetarians. They just implement a fasting regimen in there. For people who who are having trouble just doing the 16s or 18s or the 23s doing an OMAD, a one meal a day, I would suggest just starting off at 16s, right? Or even just do 12s or 14s to get the routine down and then you can push it. You know, the next day, just add another half hour where you don't eat. Add another half hour. Again, this this isn't going to be easy, especially once you're getting past the 24 hours and you're trying to do alternate day fasting and you're not used to not eating for a day. That is a weird feeling. But I will tell you, the moment you wake up after knowing you went through a whole day of not eating, the moment you wake up, you're going to be like, I did it. I, I mean, at least that's how I felt. And and then after two days, it's like, damn, I've gone this long. When I did a week, it's like, I can't believe it. I get to eat today. And even then, I'm the more days that pass, the less hungry I get. And and don't get me wrong, there are moments, even today, earlier today, I was super hungry. I mean, let, let's be real. Let me let me let me see where I'm at right now. So as far as fasting, I'm I'm 41 hours in. It's uh 4 53 p.m. central here in Chicago. And I'm 41 hours in and I'm not even more, I'm not even halfway to my goal yet. My goal is to do 90. So I'm not even halfway there. I am not eating until Wednesday evening. So if if you need motivation, this is also why I say, if you need motivation, come check this channel out because I am going to be doing this regularly. I'm going to be sharing my fasts. I share that on Instagram, on Twitter, on my YouTube page, you know, when I post videos. So if you feel like you need someone to be accountable with, do it with me. Even if you're just watching this and you haven't started a fast yet, eat your last meal, eat it, and then give yourself a goal. Give yourself a 16 hour, a 24 hour, a 36, a 48, you know, do the rest of this 90 hours with me. I have about 40, about 50 hours to go, 49 hours to go. Do that with me. Let me know. I would be lying to you if I told you that this is a piece of cake every single day because it isn't. <laughs> the, the one thing that I love telling people is that life isn't supposed to be easy all the time. It really isn't. The, the one thing that I've learned about myself is it's it's okay to not be comfortable, to, to embrace that discomfort. And, and that's something that a lot of people say, and there's a lot of truth to that, because sometimes being uncomfortable is what helps you grow. It helps you grow into to who you are today and who you could be a year from now. And and so that's why like I I keep finding myself um that is I keep putting myself in situations that I normally wouldn't do because I want to I want to embrace uh that discomfort. That's why I made this channel because I don't know if it's going to do well and even if it doesn't, then at least I can be honest and transparent. And even filming myself yesterday eating almost 5,000 calories, I don't do that. That's not typical of me, but I wanted to embrace that um, that discomfort and and share that because I think it's a learning experience and it's, it's a growing one as well. So again, if, if you want to do this with me, guys, please feel free to end this 90-hour fast with me. Go with me. Subscribe to my channel. If you haven't, uh, there's a lot that I want to share. Really, the only thing I have left to say is I am doing this 90-hour fast. I have about 45 or 50 hours to go. I work six days a week between eight and 10 hours a day. I do cardio almost six, seven days a week. Almost, almost. I do cardio almost every day because I don't have a gym right now. But I at least dedicate one hour a day for cardio the, the the only question is is what's your excuse because you shouldn't have one <laughs>